So I recently got a request on what all the vehicle has to offer as far as the 2019 Passport. So what I wanted to do is just give you a quick breakdown that I found uh, to give you a little bit more about the details as far as the interior of the car, the safety features, and the breakdown between the trim levels. So that's what this is. This is going to start you off on the, the uh, Sport model. Uh, so this is a two-wheel drive model, 3.5 liter V6, same thing that you'd find in the uh, the Pilot. Uh, 262 pounds of foot torque. Uh, vehicle cylinder management shows shutdown systems uh, as it goes if it needs to to help improve gas mileage. <clears throat> Eco Assist, this is a light that runs around the dash. What that'll do is light up green or white, depending on, and letting you know the way you're driving is saving you as far as gas uh, gas mileage goes. Drive-by-wire throttle, we've been doing that for a little while. Uh, it is a direct ignition system. Uh, it does have an immobilizer on it, so that's pretty standard for a lot of our cars. You can see it does have the 9-speed automatic transmission. Uh, so this is just some general features. Idle stop-start system, uh, depending on the model. Hill Start Assist, uh, if you start to roll back, it'll hold the brake for you until you press the gas. Uh, it's really nice on manual transmission, but it's nice on the automatic also intelligent traction management so this is going to be uh, the traction control as far as having snow sand uh, mud that sort of thing uh, so that's what's going on with this car uh, and then McPherson strut suspension uh, so that will give you a little bit of an info there and then even on the sport model you have a 20 inch wheel now safety wise it does have the Honda sensing features uh, which is going to be what a lot of these are right here so collision mitigated braking system so the braking system to prevent you from rear-ending someone forward collision warning system before it breaks uh, road departure if you're driving off the side of the uh, road uh, lane departure warning as far as correcting inside of the lanes uh, vehicle stability assist is on all my controls along with ace body structure so those two features are on every single car that Honda offers uh, we do have a multiple uh, excuse me multi-angle back camera so wide angle normal and then one aim straight down if you're backing up uh, so this is just some general features that you'll find in the sport model right so this is your your base model adapter cruise control lane keep assist uh, auto on off high beams uh, LED uh, for your low beams and your fog lights so that's what's going on from that standpoint now if you move to an all-wheel drive model all you're adding is the all-wheel drive so nothing's changing from that point now moving up to an EXL uh, you're going to be looking at a leather trim uh, as far as the interior goes heated front seats a one-touch uh, powered moonroof so this is kind of indicative of what the pilot offers a 10-way powered seat uh, is going to be in your EXL and then moving over to the passenger side you're gonna have that four-way uh, powered seat so just something to keep in mind <clears throat> some other things that you're going to get sunshades uh, the leather wrap steering wheel you know leather is going to be in the car uh, cross traffic monitoring so it'll, it'll alert you if somebody's coming from the right or the left uh, in your backup camera so that's just kind of nice to know that way if you're at the grocery store backing up that's what that feature is uh, walkway auto lock so this is set up to where um, if I get outside of 10 feet from my car the car can automatically lock the doors via the key fob uh, so it's just kind of a nice feature to have the car will come with 90 days of Sirius XM, uh, and then you'll have HD radio additionally too. It does have an 8-inch display touchscreen just like my Pilot does, so that shouldn't be anything uh, too, too new to Honda. Uh, cabin controls, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, those are all available uh, in the vehicle, uh, so you can access your navigation, your music, your messages, all of that. So that's what it is. Now moving up to the all-wheel drive model, same thing. All you're changing from two-wheel drive to all-wheel drive is just that, the, uh, the drivetrain system. Uh, now moving up to the touring model, uh, you'll be gaining Honda's uh, navigation system, which is actually through Garmin now with HD traffic. Uh, additionally, you'll have Honda Link services. So this is where you can lock your doors from your phone or start the car from your phone. So that's what this is. And you can read more about this on hondalink.com. Uh, you do have a 115 power outlet uh, in the back, which I showed in the video. If you haven't seen that, uh, LED headlights that are on on off. Uh, and then hands-free access power tailgate where you can throw your foot underneath and it'll pop open for you, assuming you have the key fob in your pocket. Just like in any of my touring models, you always get a higher powered stereo. So that's what this is with 10 speakers, including a subwoofer, acoustic glass, so it's going to be a little bit quieter inside the car, and then parking sensors on the front and rear. Uh, and then additionally, you do have roof rails on the car. So that's what you're getting in the touring model. Same thing, if you move from the touring two-wheel drive up to the all-wheel drive, it's just a simple drive chain uh, difference. Uh, now moving up to the Elite, uh, you're going to gain rain-sensing windshield wipers and a heated steering wheel. Uh, so just a couple things to keep in mind. That's what's moving from that model. So if those two don't set your world on fire, maybe you go with just the uh, the touring model and save yourself a couple bucks. Uh, so that's kind of a quick rundown between the models. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I am learning as you are learning since this is new for both of us. But I wanted to make sure and go through this with you so that you'd have it. Thank you much.